What's up, Kyle Gang? Alright, so we got the statics problem here today. So we're trying to find the moment of inertia around the x or the y axis this time of this shape here. So I just solved the moment of inertia of the x axis. Check out that video. And let's do it around the y axis now. So let's, the formula we're going to use is i of y is equal to the integral over the area x squared dA. So to get this integral into something that we can actually use, we need to rearrange our bounds. So let's try to figure out what dA is equal to. So dA, right? We know that dA is equal to x dy or y dx, right? Because area is x times y, so dA is equal to dx, y, or whatever. So in this case, we want to use dx because we have an x here. Uh, it's just going to make things simpler. You can do it the other way if you want. That works too. But uh, I find it's always simpler just to do this. So well, dA is equal to y dx. So we now need to figure out what y is, right? Uh, so let's just go ahead and put this into our integral, right? It's a little easier. So i of x, or i of y, we're doing y. I forgot about that. i of y is equal to the integral of x squared y dx. And our integral is dx, so dx goes from 0 to 4, right? Those are our bounds for our x. So 4 inches. So we can put in 0 to 4 on our integral here. So we can't solve this integral yet, right? Because we have a y in there. So we need to get rid of this y. And how are we going to get rid of this y? Well, we're going to plug in what we know here. y squared is equal to 4x. So if y squared is equal to 4x, then we know that that implies that y is equal to square root of 4x, or y is equal to 2 square root of x, just by bringing out that 4. So let's plug that in. So then now we have this is equal to 0 to 4 x squared 2 square root of x dx. Okay, so let's bring out the 2. So it's equal to 2 times the integral, 0 to 4. And then x squared times square root of x is going to be x to the 5 halves dx. All right. So now we just have to solve this integral. It's pretty easy. So it's going to be 2. And then, uh, so this is going to become 2 sevenths x to the 7 halves on the bounds from 0 to 4. So then we're going to you know, com combine like terms, 4 over 7, plug in 4, 4 to the 7 halves, uh, and then this is going to be minus 0. So we're going to get that i of x, or i of y, is equal to 73.1 inches to the 4th. And there you go. So that's how you solve this problem. It's not too tricky, right? Uh, it's just about making sure you get your bounds right and you do this integral right. So uh, if you have any trouble on these questions, I have a handful of others on my channel. Uh, check out the playlist that I put a card up there for, or go to my channel and check out my playlist. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.